Mechanically Fastened System, Design MFRS. Mechanically fastened roofing systems provide a lightweight and easy to maintain roofing system. This system is able to accommodate irregular roof conditions on a variety of roof decks. SureTough reinforced EPDM membranes offer building owners additional peace of mind with their increased durability and available puncture warranties. In a mechanically fastened roofing system, the insulation is mechanically fastened to the roof structure with fastening plates and appropriate fasteners. Then the membrane is also mechanically fastened to the roof structure using fastening plates or fastening bars and the appropriate fasteners. This system uses SureTough reinforced EPDM membrane. The mechanically fastened roofing system is able to accommodate roof slopes up to 18 and 12 and can be installed on buildings up to 75 feet in height or higher with Carlisle approval. All Carlisle roofing systems are available with a standard 55 mile per hour wind speed warranty. The mechanically fastened roofing system has an optional increased wind speed warranty up to 100 miles per hour. The mechanically fastened roofing system begins with the installation of an approved substrate. Insulation is affixed to the roof deck by using Carlisle plates and fasteners. When fastening insulation, follow the appropriate Carlisle specification. Only install the amount of insulation that can be covered by membrane in the same day. Remove any debris from the roof deck. Place the insulation on the deck. It is a good practice to stagger the joints of the insulation. By doing this, the amount of thermal loss between the insulation boards is reduced. Insulation must be butted together with no gaps greater than a quarter inch. Follow the Carlisle approved fastening pattern. The typical pattern for mechanically fastened roofing system is one fastener for every eight square feet on a four foot by eight foot insulation board. On a four foot by four foot insulation board, place two fasteners in opposing corners approximately 12 inches from the two sides. Install the plates and fasteners using a screw gun, ensuring that the plate is tight to the insulation without overdriving the fastener. Continue this procedure until all insulation is fastened to the roof deck. For the required perimeter securement, position the 9 inch wide pressure sensitive russ at the perimeter of the roof between 42 and 54 inches from the edge of the roof. Fasten the russ with the required Carlisle plates and fasteners. These plates are positioned in the center of the strip and fastened either 6 or 12 inches on center. When a second russ is required, it is positioned and fastened a maximum of 54 inches from the previous russ. Polymer plates must be used for all steel deck applications. In the field of the roof, position the membrane over the substrate. This roll could be 8 or 10 feet wide depending on design requirements. Utilizing the pre-printed blue line on one edge of the sheet, install all of the required fasteners. The type of fastener and plate used will depend upon the type of deck. The fasteners must be installed directly over the pre-printed blue line, achieving a minimum 3 inch wide splice from the center of the plate. End lap splices are set at a minimum of 3 inches. No mechanical securement is required at these locations. The sheets are typically fastened a maximum of 12 inches on center. After the sheet has been fastened in place, Position the next roll of membrane overlapping the adjoining sheet to achieve a 6 inch wide minimum splice. Pull back the membrane to expose the factory applied tape. Apply primer to the membrane. Once the primer is tacked off, pull the poly off the factory applied tape. And roll the membrane at the seam area. Complete all splices following standard splicing procedures. There are three details which require additional membrane securement. The pre-molded pipe seal, the field fabricated pipe seal, and the pressure sensitive portable sealer pockets. These three details require the use of a two inch seam fastening plate located no more than 12 inches from the detail. Round penetrations less than six inches in diameter only require four fasteners and plates. For pipes over 6 inches in diameter, 
seam fastening plates need to be placed 12 inches away and 12 inches on center around the penetration. Secure the 2 inch seam fastening plate to the substrate. Apply Carlisle EPDM primer to the membrane surface and overlay the plates with pressure sensitive cured cover strip or pressure sensitive overlayment strip.